Hello, it's me again. Right, it's just, just another quick little update and here comes a bloody dog. Right, it's just a little update on, um, well, as far as I've got with the junkers and a little bit I put on the Misha Schmidt. Um, yes, you're lovely. Yes, you are. Yes. Um, but I've, I'm putting transfers on the junkers at the moment because I spent all weekend painting the canopy. Um, and I'm pleased with it, really, to be honest. But here's what I've done so far. Right, it's all these little dots, things, little triangles. I've got the little shipping thing on. I don't know if you can see under there very well. Let me have a look. You can just see I painted on the swastika underneath, but that's how it looks in the pictures I've done. Um, I've finished to the best of my ability at the moment the canopy which I'm actually pleased with. There's still a couple more um, little transfers to go on here which is I've got them on that side but I've got so many now or well, there's so many on there I can't fit any more on but I don't know if you can see although I've used decal fix I'm starting to get silver in already but I think that's where your gloss varnish and that comes in, but that's all stuff I should be learning soon. And on the Mesha Schmidt, I've put a couple more on. Put the red logo there and the S. There's a couple of little touchy up bits I want to do, like um, the guns, this little, I think that's a radiator housing. Bits of touching up. And I've got Ian from UK Scale Modelling. I've got one of his swastikas on and I think that looks pretty bloody good but um anyway I'll put them up hang on a moment I'll put them up there nicely and that one nicely as you see now, my shelf is getting um, pretty full up. Well, it is full up, really. But um, here I am again. Main thing is, I've just been shopping because some idiot told me that Hobbycraft has restocked. And I was disappointed. Really, I can't drink that right now. First thing I bought, let me just show you a nice hobby craft bag. Come back 50 quid lighter. Right, first off, I got, hang on, I'll spin it around. I got a Airfix MiG 29, which looks, it's well, it's a 172 scale, but um, I've had a quick look, and there's lots and lots to do, but not there's only 10 sections on instructions. But the front wheel's there, I don't know, it might be right, I don't know. But I've not done a fighter before, well, I, did, I did years ago, I did a tornado, and it was just terribly wrong because I didn't paint it because um, they've got clear sprue in there the clear sprue I might have a look at that in a minute because that looks a bit faded but let's have a look at all this now that looks fun but I should be doing the check Air Force, I think. Same colours as on the box. Get them covered back up. I've noticed that the camo on this 
four different colours. I think I counted four. Yeah, two greens, a black and a tanny brown, so that should be interesting. Now while I was down there, I was looking at the uh, airbrushes, which looks quite basic, but they don't do compressor or anything to go with it. But anyway, I'll stand that down there for a minute. And also, also got, because I've never done a helicopter, I wanted a Chinook, but um, there's, there's not much of a selection. So, this is what I've got. A Ravel Longbow Apache in 148 scale. Now also, again, I've had a quick look at this. Um, Get my finger out of the way. Okay. Let's just try and grab all this. Nothing else in there. Oh, this is, what's that? Oh, this is clear sprue. Got clear sprue. I know we can see that very well. But, um, you've got like the top and one side. And I think that lot is for obviously the other side. You've got this quite a sizey thing here. Let me just, I'm not very well organised here, am I? Not very well organised at all. Can I do this and hold a phone at the same time? Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm back. Don't panic. I was just looking through the bag, not looking at it properly. Now, this is going to be my first helicopter. focus any more than that? Yeah, that's better. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, enjoy it, but you see, there is, on this one, I've noticed here and there, there is an awful lot of flashing. I think that's what you call it, flashing, but you've got all this a detail on that rotor head. But, oh, excuse me. There's lots of cleaning up to do. Um, I think if I can get this done better than my normal ability, I've got the cockpit tub, whatever you call it, with your bit of flashing here and there. But I'm not going to let that set me back there's lots of bits I don't know what you think for a helicopter is really because um, I have not done one before like I said so this is a first for me now there we go that looks yeah and some seats cockpit instrument panel that's the rear stabiliser nope oh. Got some missile stuff. Flip that over. You got a nice big old cannon there. I like a bit of the old cannons. Lovely stuff. So that should be fun. Now you've got a various I'm, I'm sure I don't know thinking, I think. I watched a review on this the other day, but I cannot remember who did it. But I'll be going British, because I'm British. Um, and also it's my first helicopter, so I think it's right, my first helicopter should be British. But we've got this separate piece of paper for safety advice, paint and glue for children, blah, 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 yeah, all normal sort of stuff. But anyway, 
Miss them bits, I'll put them back in a moment. Well, we've got this other sprue here as well, haven't we? What's that? Oh, another bit of cockpit and bits. And bit, oh, no, that, that's, um, that's that bit in it. But yeah, that. I think I should look forward to doing it as it's be first. But what else I bought was this is transfer stuff enamel varnish and it's gloss so I believe that's what I spray on before transfers then get some matte varnish now I don't know what I was thinking but I bought that anyway so that can go in the stash over there managed to get myself some new blades because I desperately need a blade and last of all first time ever for me some model filler so hopefully that is going to up my standards somewhat for uh, my finished products so I'm happy and I can't wait to get on with the helicopter but I've also got to bear in mind I'm still doing the Red Arrow so um, well that is that for now um, I make my mind up what I'm going to get stuck into and I shall uh, keep you updated so happy modelling and I'll see you again okay, ta -ra.